Notice that this road and these curves are designed so that we just gently curve with the road. I thought I had a little window of opportunity, but I had to wait for this fast car before I could really go over. And the most important part of our journey is to just stay safe, centered in our lane, with a safe speed behind the cars ahead of us. Hey guys, we're heading down a curvy road and we're gonna watch for signs to help keep us safe. If you are driving on a windy road, especially if you're going downhill, an important part of keeping yourself safe is going to be holding your hands steady at the wheel, slowing as you approach your curves, and then gently guiding the car with the curve. Sometimes new drivers feel like they have to steer more than they actually do. Notice that this road and these curves are designed so that we just gently curve with the road. We don't make any sudden movements and we really don't have to work too hard with the steering wheel. We just keep our hands on the wheel and we curve gently with the road. And of course, I'm behind a slower moving vehicle. I can see their brake lights on, so I slow down even more to give them room. I'm not gonna pass the truck right now because we're on this curvy, hazardous portion of the road. I'm gonna wait until we get to a long, straight spot, and then I'll work on overtaking the vehicle. And I can see from the 40 mile an hour curve sign up ahead that my long straight shot is not for a little while. Sometimes new drivers get impatient and they feel like I gotta pass the truck. But what you really have to do is stay safe. That's the most important thing on your journey. So don't be afraid to just settle in and wait for the perfect spot before you even think about making a lane change. You would never make a lane change on a curve and you would never make a lane change in a spot where you see like yellow hazard signs like we're seeing here. This yellow caution is another reminder that we've got a road coming out from the right and we just wanna keep our eyes out because if a slow vehicle were to enter the road we would have to slow down to accept them. So we're just always checking our signs and making sure we understand what they're telling us so we know what the right thing to do is. And that was a nice, gentle way to go around those curves. We were perfectly safe. And we remember when we're going downhill, we have to slightly press on the brake every now and then if we pick up too much speed, because of course gravity is pulling us down. We watch all our caution signs. Anytime we see yellow, especially flashing yellow, we are extra alert, keeping our eyes out. And the most important part of our journey is to just stay safe, centered in our lane with a safe speed behind the cars ahead of us. And we remember the rule when we're following behind a large truck. If we can see the mirrors of the vehicle ahead of us on the side, then we know that they'll be able to see us because the driver would be able to see us in their mirror. If we can't see the mirrors, then they can't see us. So we need to give a little bit more space. Another thing we can do when we're traveling behind a large vehicle is look to the left of the vehicle and the right of the vehicle and even underneath the vehicle if there's visibility. So driving downhill on a curvy road, we use our brake to keep our speed in check we keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead of us and we gently curve the steering wheel just to match 
the curve of the road. We want to be really careful not to oversteer. Now that it looks like we're down to a flatter portion of the road, I'm going to watch for the next long straight part of the road and I'm going to see if it's time for me to try to pass this truck. I feel really good about being patient and driving behind the truck, but if I do have the opportunity to pass, I'm going to try to take it. So I'm watching in the rear view mirror and I see that after the white Tesla, there seems to be a gap, except I noticed the black car coming pretty quick, so I changed my plans. I thought I had a little window of opportunity, but I had to wait for this fast car before I could really go over. Now I'm gonna change lanes back to the right, but I have to make sure I can see both headlights of the truck in my rear view mirror before I initiate my lane change. I would never want to pass too close to a truck. You always want to give trucks extra room because they're so big and it takes them so long to come to a stop. And because I'm coming downhill, the gravity is making my speed increase. And so just like the cars ahead of me, every now and then I tap on my brakes just to slow down a bit. And especially as I approach this sharper curve where the speed limit is reduced to 45 miles an hour, I want to make sure that I adjust my speed as I'm approaching the curve so that I can then roll through the curve safely and then accelerate on the other side back to the speed limit of 65. You always want to adjust your speed as you're approaching the curve, never in the curve. And because I just came around a corner and found slow traffic ahead of me, I put on my hazard lights just to alert the people behind me, hey, watch out, there's an unexpected slowdown. The flashing yellow lights really help too. So there we all were, driving down the hill, 65 miles an hour, swooping around the curves a little bit slower at 45, and then all of a sudden, traffic is nearly stopped, and the speed limit right now is only 20 miles an hour. Thank you for pausing to check in today and think about how to drive safely on a curvy road downhill. I hope you feel more comfortable understanding how you're gonna hold the wheel and gently adjust, how you're gonna be looking forward, making sure that you're prepared for anything ahead of you, and how you can keep yourself safe while you're driving by just noticing street signs, noticing the brake lights of cars ahead of you, and making sure that you're always prepared to react. If this video was helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe so other people can find our videos more easily. Thanks a lot for checking in today and keep up your safe driving. Hey!